Nepal has recently been highlighted as a global nutrition success story. From 1996 to 2011, maternal and child undernutrition declined dramatically. So how was Nepal able to achieve such remarkable improvements? Emerging evidence shows at least four distinct linkages. Greater access to health services, improved coverage and use of sanitation facilities, rapid improvements in education, particularly among mothers, and reductions in poverty. Slowly it was realized that nutrition is not an outcome of development. Nutrition determines development of a country and if you don't pay attention to nutrition, a stunted, underweight or a intellectually challenged population cannot drive the development of a country. Over the past 20 years, toilet use in Nepal has increased dramatically. This is likely to have contributed to declines in infections and in turn improvements in nutrition. The expansion of health services has played a leading role in addressing undernutrition in Nepal. The number of people giving birth in a hospital, important for both the mother and child, has increased, as has the use of antenatal care, iron supplementation, and vaccinations for children. The decentralization of health services, including the expansion of primary health care centers and female community health volunteers, has made access to basic health services easier. BCG, DPT, and ILJ, Dadura, Sapai. Since the 90s, the increased focus on education for all has resulted in rapid and sustained improvements in educational attainment for women. This has been positively linked to reductions in maternal and child undernutrition. <laughs> My school name is Paramount Boarding Higher Secondary School. I study in class 6. My best friend is Narayan Ale. My favorite subject is math. I wanted to be engineer in my M. I wanted to be an engineer because I, I wanted to make so many house and roads for our country. In addition to progress in health, education, and water and sanitation services, overall improvements in the socio-economic well-being of the population and a decrease in number of people living below the poverty line has also been important for reducing malnutrition. And improvements in community development programs, roads, and social development are vital to reductions in undernutrition, sanitation, health, education, and wealth. It all must converge. Every household and every community in every district of Nepal must have access to opportunities in each of these sectors at the same time. Policies and programs delivering goods and services, particularly to hard-to-reach communities, has been the key to progress. The government of Nepal has invested in addressing nutrition-related constraints. Uh, in the initiation of National Planning Commission and Ministry of Health, we conducted a study nutrition assessment gap analysis uh, in the joint collaboration of the development partners and from that uh, study some recommendations were made and uh, it has recommended especially uh, in two areas number one uh, the nutrition architecture uh, must be identified and they have suggested national planning commission to work as a nutrition architecture and number two Nutrition program should be conducted on the multi-sectoral basis. So, what's next? What does the future look like for Nepal? Although Nepal has made tremendous progress in reducing undernutrition, millions of Nepalis remain malnourished. The real work for implementation of multi-sectoral efforts to address undernutrition is in the communities, with female community health volunteers and other frontline workers collaborating.
Stakeholders can further reduce the prevalence of maternal and child undernutrition by ensuring that sanitation facilities, health services, education, and opportunities for poverty reduction simultaneously reach every household, in every community, in every district of Nepal.